G'day, I've just spent a week in Manila. The people were amazing, so hospitable, but there is a huge wealth divide, something I don't see at home in Australia. Join me as I head to the Tondo slums to witness the work a local charity is doing, helping the very neediest of Manila's hardest working families. This is a hive of activity, plenty of recycling going on down here and typically a worker in this area might earn 300 pesos a day which is about 6 US dollars and that's not enough to feed a family and obviously there's no running water in their homes so this is a common area where locals can shower and clean their clothes. One of the most remarkable things that uh, I've learnt about this area is the fact that a lot of the locals will go to, say, Jollibee, they will get the scraps that are thrown out in the rubbish and they'll bring them back to a sorting area back here and they will find the chicken that still has meat on it and they will bring it and sell it to stalls like this where they fry it again and resell it. And the owner of the Pagpag -pag store, she buy also in that area, in the Pagpag -pag area and then she wash this chicken in water two times and then she cook again in a different kind of dishes like this is adobo one and this is a fried one. The residents, they buy this for 20 pesos only so that they can eat their lunch or dinner or breakfast for a cheaper way. Hello. Mom Evelyn, she is also a queen of Pagpa. She is um, also famous in YouTube. Really? Yes, she is the Pagpa queen. You like this? Yes. <laughs> you can buy 30 pesos and they can share it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the isa lang, the isa lang. Salama. Salama. Share na kayo, share. Enjoy. Delicious. <laughs> For us, um, this is a bizarre thing, but the locals here, it's just normal, and I guess it's just what you are used to. But these kids are loving it. This a uh, head of chicken, and we call that helmet. Do you like that? Makano to? 12 pesos. Yes, we eat this. Close to midday, so technically, yeah, the bar is open here, and Red Horse is the beer of choice. Now, if you're interested, like I was, as to what the toilet situation is like, some of them do have some plumb toilets, but most, I believe, use the flying saucer method. What is that? Well, let me describe it. You take a plastic plate, perhaps, or a bag, you do your business in that, and then you throw it in the garbage trucks out there on the main street. It's effective, apparently. And electricity-wise, they all seem to have access, because you need it, you need a fan at the very least. And how do they get their electricity? Well, there's a, a mishmash of wires up here, and I don't think anyone's paying off the meter. One thing that most of the Western world will find um, a little uncomfortable is the existence of cockfighting. It's still legal in this country, and indeed these two cocks are fighters. <laughs> and uh, never too far away from kids are video games. What is this? This is a Wi-Fi box, and for a few pesos you get X amount of minutes on air. This blue pipe comes from their water here. They use it for cooking their food, washes their clothes, or if they want to drink the water from here, they need to boil first before they drink it. And they pay in the government also. And in what looks like quite challenging conditions in here, everybody seems to be pretty darn happy. There doesn't seem to be any depression or gluten intolerance. It just seems to be people getting on with life albeit getting a bit wet this afternoon. Do you like the rain? Okay. Hello nurse. 
If you're wondering how I've got to do this, Bless the Children Foundation run tours and you can do the same thing. I think I donated about 200 US dollars for us to wander around for 90 minutes and that money goes towards providing a whole host of services including education and even a medical centre behind me here where they have a dentist and a doctor. There's a basketball court that's been turned into a shelter because there was a fire not far from here and all those people that were displaced are now in here. And what caused the fire? These wires, which are crazy overhead. This is Jun, he's a tricycle driver and I'm gonna go for a drive. These are seen all over this city. Okay, let's go. There's just enough room for two of us in here, but you wouldn't want to be going a long distance. This is quite a cute way to travel. Not very comfortable, but certainly it is uh, doable. And if you have a look out here, you can see my good wife. There she is. And if you don't feel like sitting inside, you can sit on the back here in the cabin. Put some wires, don't you? Thanks, Jun. Right. Thanks, Jun. Sell them up. So this is another mode of transport that the locals love. This is a jeepney. It's open air. It's noisy, but the people on board are quite fun. I stumbled across a whole host of very happy people just off one of the main streets in this area and they are, they are amazed by the camera which is quite quirky. So what is your business? Uh, this is uh, ice. So you sell ice? And then uh, Sari Sari store. What time do you open? Nine to nine. Okay, every day? Every day. And what is your best seller? Uh, ice. Ice. <laughs> The wrapper of, of lumpia, like this, a uh, base ball uh, inside. Okay. Yes. Filipino food. And you love it? You like it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you will taste it. Can you I buy it? You one? taste it and Can like I it. No, I buy one for you. Yes, sir. Ten pesos yeah. each. Not for me. I'll buy one for them. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks for showing me. Thank you. Yeah. And stay passionate. And stay passionate. There certainly are some massive differences between the rich areas and the poor areas, this being BGC, not far from our hotel. Well, I asked on Instagram what I should do in Manila, and so many of you said go to Jollibee. Hi, can I have a Jolly Spaghetti, a Yum Burger with fries and drink, and I'll make that a Coke, please, and uh, a chicken sandwich, just the normal one. I've got all of this for $4.90 US. First up, I was told to try the spaghetti because apparently, it's got sugar on top. Oh, that is overly sweet. I think that's an acquired taste. The fries, small and um, lukewarm at best. Now I've got two burgers. One's their cheeseburger equivalent. And it is tiny, with lots and lots of mayo on it. Probably too heavy on the mayo for me. And uh, finally, a chicken sandwich, which once again is very small and absolutely layered with mayo on one side, <laughs> absolutely nothing on the other. That's the best of the lot. I'm going to be disappointing a lot of you Filipinos I know and Filipinas because I didn't love it. What can I say?
This is one of the largest supermarkets in Manila. It's right in the heart of BGC. And we're in the second week of October and we've got Christmas carols playing already. Of course, there's plenty of rice on offer. You can get a six pack of Coke for about 53 US cents a can. You can get a litre of Johnny Walker Red Label for about 14.50. Or 750 mil Grey Goose Vodka for $47. And if you're a beer drinker, you can get a six pack of San Miguel, which is the local beer for one US dollar a can. And good to see some Australian milk on sale here. There's a healthy range of beef on offer here with um, the most expensive being this Japanese Wagyu at just over 200 US dollars a kilo. What you do notice is how neat all of these aisles are. But easily the best shopping area is Greenbelt. A whole host of shopping malls with eateries and a uh, range of stores. Plus there's this beautiful park right in the middle. I met just some of the four million people who live in Manila slums. It was an eye-opener, and if you're in this part of the world, contact the Bless the Children Foundation and come see it for yourself. They'll be grateful for your support. Thanks for watching. And stay freshly! It's good. Didn't have enough sauce on it, but it is good. But I'll say again, I'm not looking in the right spot. Straight up, the chips are minuscule. My fries very small. Off the fries very small. Off. Two zero, please keep the meal. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs>